Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Neil Henderson and I'm from a company called Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And if you haven't heard of us before, we actually develop enclosures for 3D printers and laser engraving systems. So you may have seen our, some of our enclosures for uh, 3D printers like Prusa's, Creality's, and uh, also laser engravers like the X-Tool D1. So uh, today I've got something new that it's a basically an enclosure mod for the Voron crew, and we'll be we've developed this for the Voron uh, V2.4 R2 and also the Trident. And uh, initially, we're going to be doing it for the 350 millimeter build volumes, and then uh, probably the 250, and then we'll add in the 300s as well. So if you're a Voron person, um, this is a pretty rad mod, and uh, I hope that you like it. Okay, so here's the new Voron enclosure for the 2.4 and the Trident. And as you can see, this opens things up quite a bit. We use quarter inch professional grade panels on this and with an option to do either acrylic or this is actually polycarbonate, which has a higher uh, service temperature. And uh, then that way this also offers a little bit of rigidity to the uh, printer and then get just higher performance by retaining heat and sound. So uh, the other thing we added is a nice full width front magnetically latched front door. And then that way you get a really clear view of your work surface. Um, and then the other thing about this enclosure, the thing that's nice is this is super easy to install. All you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take off the panels from the stock enclosure and, um, and then this is just a, a direct bolt on. So uh, we have everything sealed up with foam tape um, and then it attaches on with uh, hammerhead nuts, pretty similar to what you used when you assembled your Voron and then some nice uh, kind of larger sized uh, hardware for attaching. So we wanted this to have a pretty tough look and then we also wanted, to, wanted it to look nice as well. So the other part that we added on is actually this uh, Texas sized five kilogram spool holder uh, enclosure as well to keep your filament uh, clean and dry. So with this, uh, with this enclosure, um, this is perfect for print farms and people that are doing like really, really big prints. So the hurdle with these big spools is that these tend to create quite a lot of drag going down into the extruder. So there's a, you need to have a balance of having a free flowing uh, uh, filament all the way into the extruder. And at the same time, you don't just want the filament uh, spool to just rotate freely. So what we did is we gave this, uh, uh, this rides on a spindle uh, that has bearings on it so that you get a reduced amount of resistance down to the uh, extruder. But then at the same time, we put in a little bit of uh, dampening control so that the uh, the spool doesn't just freely rotate and uh, then that way it does not uh, uh, tangle up the filament because what, uh, what can happen is the filament will kind of lap over itself and then cause itself to, to tangle. So uh, all in all we've got a great performing system here with a, an improved look and improved functions. So with all that said, I think we've got a great add-on mod to anyone's Voron or especially anyone that is running um, you know, larger prints or a print farm with their gear. So this Voron mod it really gives a, a nice premium look to a premium printer and with the spool holder it really offers some really nice functionality and being able to use really big spools. So if you're looking for an upgrade for your Voron, hit us up at clearviewplastic.com, that's plasticsingular.com and uh, we build these right in Sacramento, California. We're appreciative people, so if you uh, like our design, come visit us, and I hope to see you there. Thanks much.